Hey friends, so today I've decided to film a university tips, tricks, what it's like video. Um, this video was actually a request, so if anyone else has any more questions, just let me know. And I'm just going to talk about my experience with university so far, how my classes look, and some quick tips that maybe you didn't think of. So I am currently enrolled in French education, and uh, yeah, it's been going good so far. For my first semester, I had to take English class, French class of course, education class, I also took a music class because my minor is fine arts, and then I took indigenous studies. So all those classes went pretty well for me. Education is actually the one I did the least well in. Maybe it's because I had less experience. It was really like, I'm good when information's very black and white, you know, like, okay, you have to know the facts. But when it's like, oh, reflect, it's kind of difficult for me. So I think that was my main struggle with education class as it was. English class is actually the class I did the best in, which I wasn't thinking was going to happen. Um, because before going to university, everyone's like, oh yeah, English 100. Oh, you, most people have to take you like two or three times. It's so hard to pass. Like it determines if you're cut out for university or not. And like, oh my goodness. But I actually got a 95 in it. So I don't know if I had a good professor. Like I've always had a passion for writing and people have always told me I'm really good at writing. So I don't know if that's what it was. But if anyone wants tips on how to succeed in English 100 or any English class in general, let me know because I will go into more detail with that. So this semester my classes look a little bit different. There's still education, then there's French, but a higher level this time. I'm taking theater, I'm still working on that minor of fine arts. And um, I'm taking a French grammar class and a French cinema class, so everything's very français, um, but uh, the classes aren't too challenging. I'm like They're challenging, but I'm succeeding, so it doesn't feel overwhelming to me. Um, and yeah, so that's really good. It's good to be able to know that I can succeed. <laughs> like I know some of my friends are in more of the science domain, um, and they're having more trouble, which is well, I think it's normal to have more trouble in science classes than just language classes, but I think if you're interested in what you're going into, then you will succeed no matter what. So I have some quick study tips and tricks that I use when I actually study and um, that have been helpful for me. Now my first tip for everyone is to get all the help you can get. Now in high school I had an all 90s and now in university I have mainly 80s and 90s. But I still take advantage of going to see professors and talking about my papers with them, asking a bunch of questions even if I didn't necessarily need to ask them, just to get that extra clarification. I have gone for writing tutoring and I have gone for French tutoring because the services are available and free. And I think it's really important to take advantage of them even if you don't need them. Like, like I said, I probably could succeed on my own without them, but I think I'm doing extra well because I am taking advantage of them and they're free and it's probably like well they're free but they like probably weasel the costs into your tuition so really it's missing an opportunity if you don't take those opportunities and don't be embarrassed just go and get all the help you can get and it'll make you better in the end so it's all good my second tip is to form a schedule for yourself. Now I've started doing this in my second semester, but my first semester I didn't do this. I'd go to school and then I'd go home and I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna work on homework all night until I'm done. Well, it made me unhappy and stressed and then I usually would cheat and be like, okay, well, I'll take a Netflix break. Whereas now what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, I'm going to work from, when I get up and go to my first class, from like 10 to five, I'm going to work on school related things and homework. And then from five to 11, I will just have free time. I'll film videos, I'll edit, I'll write, I'll do things that I enjoy. I'll call my mom or my boyfriend. And I think that's important is to designate that time because if you're just like, okay, I'm just going to work. And then when I'm done everything, then I'll have that time to myself. Well, you're going to be unhappy and stressed, and then you might get too distracted. I find if I have a specific schedule to follow, then I will study all that time, and then I know that in the future I will have time to myself, so I can see the freedom on the horizon, and I think that really motivates me to keep going. Whereas you can kind of cheat. If you want to have more time to yourself one day because you're feeling extra stressed, 
maybe schedule less time at work or if you really want to complete a paper so you don't have to think about it maybe just go over your regular schedule my next tip is to stay out of your dorm room stay out of your house go to a library or stay on campus because I find I work better in those situations because like I can't just well I could but I don't feel as comfortable sitting down playing a game or watching Netflix or calling my mom in public or in the library. So if I'm there, I know, oh, I have to work. Like, I really don't have any distractions around me that could throw me off task. So I recommend that. Get out of your dorm and like I said, once it hits five o'clock, be like, okay, now I can go home. And what I find is really helpful about this, it's like, in high school like when I'd come home oh you'd leave school behind whereas I find my first semester was very like I would finish class and then I'd go home and I just would work again but if I stay out and then I go home like after five or something I know that okay I'm leaving work like when I used to work at Superstore I'd leave and then I wouldn't have to think about it until the next day and I think that's really helpful for me my next tip is to follow your passions during the year my first semester okay here's the thing first semester you're gonna screw up lots you might fail classes that's just what they say the whole experience is like for the first semester. I did well in my classes, but I think I had a lot more anxiety and my personal life was kind of taking a hit from everything. Whereas this semester, like I said, I'm giving myself time to do my own things and specifically I'm starting to write creative writing again and I'm starting to film videos again. Both things make me so happy and I think it's important when you go to university not to give up all the things you love. Like I'm taking yoga and dance again this semester. So by having those fun personal things that you've always loved, you remind, kind of reminds you why you're alive, you know? Um, and it gives you time to have fun and not stress. and. You're, you're accomplishing something. Like, I've, I've always been the type like, okay, I like watching Netflix, but I feel like I'm useless when I'm watching it. But when I'm filming videos, I don't feel useless or editing or reading or writing. So I think it's important to pursue your hobbies. Still do your hobbies. Don't dedicate your whole life to school because you have to have a personal life. They always told me that. I'm like, oh, well, no, I kind of do. I watch Netflix one hour before bed. But now that I'm doing more things that I love, I'm a lot happier. And I think that's going to help me succeed in my classes too. My final university tip is don't go into a program that you're not interested in. <laughs> don't worry, no, I totally think getting a higher education is very important and will give you more opportunities in life, um, but go after something you're passionate about. Like myself, having that fine arts minor is so important to me because that's where my love is, like, that's what I love. Um, and I really do like French education too, so I'm happy that I chose that path instead of just like, oh, doing something that pays well or that your parents want you to do. You gotta find your passion, you gotta go for it, even if it's a little more risky. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions or even tips for me, please leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time.